In this video, we're going to be going over how to make it so that no matter which part of our web page we scroll to, our navigational bar will appear at the very top. And we're also going to be adding a data scroll spy that'll highlight uh, one of our links up here based off of whatever um, segment we're currently looking at. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to add navbar slash fix slash top. Um, this gives the proper styling um, for an absolute positioning of our navigational bar with respect to our web page here. So when I reload this, as you can see, the nav bar stays, or the contents of the nav bar stay at the top no matter where I scroll to. Um, but as you guys can see, um, this there's a bit of overlapping in terms of information here, and it can get hard to see what our options are for our nav bar uh, when we scroll to certain parts of our page. So how are we going to fix this? Well, fortunately, we have this class um, called navbar inverse, which is going to give our navbar a black background so that um, it'll always be easy for us to read um, the text in our navbar. So as you guys can see here now, we've got an issue where we've now covered up um, the top of our welcome div. So how are we going to fix this? We're going to fix this in our CSS. And we're going to say, um, let's grab the welcome div. And let's add a margin to the top of it that's going to be 80 pixels. So now, as you guys can see, we can now um, see the little um, welcome to our tutorial page here at the top. So that's pretty cool. So the next thing we need to do now is add a data scroll spy so that whenever we say for example go to the find me on social media part here it'll highlight the social media um, text here in the navigational bar so um, what we need to do is we need to add a scroll spy to the body element here and we're going to do that with data spy and we're going to do it on scroll and what it needs to do is it now needs to feed the information of where it's been scrolled to to some target. So we're going to say its target is going to be equal to um, our navbar here, which we denote with dot navbar. So let's reload this and we take a look. So when we go to my photos, um, as you can see, you see it's a little off here. But when we're in my photos, it highlights my photos. When we're in social media, it highlights social media. When we're in um, about me and highlights about me and when we're in welcome it highlights welcome unfortunately um, it is a bit off so we must add a, uh, a data offset here and um, because I said that I wanted the margin top to be 80 pixels I'm going to add an offset of 80 here so let's take a look now so now we're when we refresh the page, our scroll spy says, hey, we're in the welcome section. So that's good. Let's scroll down to the about me. And it says, okay, now we're at the about me. Go to the social media. It goes to social media on the nav bar. Go to photos of me. And it goes to my photos. So hopefully you guys found this um, useful and helpful. Um, feel free to go to W3 Schools um, Bootstrap here. And... Um, here they can tell you how to create a scroll spy. So, see you guys next time.